Hi, yes, Jackie here from the LGFA, and we're on a call today reviewing and previewing the latest club action as we do on pretty much a weekly basis now. And I'm delighted to be joined by three very, very special guests today. As I look at my screen on the top left hand side, I've got Orla Duffy from Breda and County Down. Bottom left is Lauren Fitzpatrick from Bally McCarberry in Waterford, but also a native of Tipperary. And I've got Sinead Geary from Clonairn, a member of the management team. Um, as they look ahead to an Ulster Senior Club final on Sunday against Orla Duffy's Breda. So listen, we'll keep it nice and friendly and cordial today, folks. How are we all doing today? All good? <laughs> all good. Good. Well, Jackie, right, thanks. I'll start with your good self because we had Leisha on not so long ago and we met you guys up at the TG Car teams of the championship. Um, phenomenal season for Down, phenomenal season for your good self and Leisha and an excellent season as well for Breda today. So life is pretty good, I'm sure. Exciting. <laughs> Definitely easier when you're winning things, but it's been good. Good, good, good. What are you doing with yourself off the field to play Orla? What, what, what does life look like? Um, I'm working at the minute in Bank of Ireland. Um, so yeah, it's busy enough. Busy. How do you manage work and train, and how do you find that all that and, and playing football? How is that that work life balance for you? It's not too bad with club because I'm working in um Belfast just beside City Hall, so um it's handy enough for training because we're training near where I live as well so it's all within walking distance which is good okay excellent and um, we'll come back to you in a few minutes good to good to see you and thanks for coming on today Orla at, at short notice as always uh, so thanks for that Lauren Fitzpatrick how, how is all with you good good Jackie good thanks good where, where are you at it or what's happening currently working from home so uh, not too bad I can't complain good what, what are you doing with yourself these days Lauren uh, uh, in terms of, of earning a crust as, well, as, as we like to say <laughs> Uh, I work in the food business, so I'm in a supply chain. So I uh, kept busy this time years getting ready for Christmas. So, yeah. How long have you been in, in that in that role? Um, I'm heading into my, actually, my 10th year coming into, we'll say, next year. Um, I kind of started off with a graduate role, so um, still here. So, yeah, no, I am um, enjoy it. So it's so if you're busy, as I say, coming up to Christmas, I'd say, is, 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 is pretty full on, is it, Lauren? Yeah, definitely. Um, I suppose the month of November is kind of crazy, and then it kind of kind of quietens down when you get to the start of December, as as your as Christmas kind of hits. So yeah, this month is definitely the busiest of the year. So um, yeah, no, it's nice to keep your time occupied anyway. Good. Well, listen, we hope we can give you a little distraction away from from what is a busy time for, <laughs> for, for even a few minutes anyway, Lauren. And thanks for coming on today, Sinead. How's things with you? Not too bad, Jackie. Thanks. Good. So you're looking ahead to uh, taking on Orla and Co. At the weekend, um, a, a superb run to the final, um, Sinead. You must be very happy with how things have gone to date. Yeah, obviously everything's gone to plan so far. Um, we're, we're just delighted to, to, to sort of finally reach the final. It's been a long time coming for us as a club, um, as a senior club. So um, we're just enjoying the, the occasion at the minute and I'm, I'm looking forward to Sunday. What's the buzz around the club like? Oh, I have to say it's amazing. Like it, not not just the club around the town. You know, um, you're driving up the the street now towards the club, and you can see the orange and white flags everywhere, and the posters out, and the good luck signs, and it really is that the, the club have been massively supporting us all year, and, and just the fact it's another level for the final. Like so, um, it's great for the girls to see, but um, trying trying not to let too many distractions get to us, but it is great to see it around the local community. Uh, Sinead, uh, we could write a book on your history with the club. Right, so you might you might synopsize it down into in into a few short um lines for us. I, I was actually in touch with Greg, right, who's manager, Greg McGonagall, well known former uh, Dublin manager as well, among other things, uh, and Monaghan uh, through the years, vastly experienced. So, you yourself, Sinead, you're heavily involved in coaching in Clonair and part of the under sixteen and minor management teams, as well as helping out with the seniors. Won a number of championships with Clonair, and and um, I understand there's some other more personal and happy news as well that you might be in a position to share with us <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 um i'm uh, having my first baby now in january so um it's, it's been a very busy time <laughs> don't know where i really got the time between um being pregnant working on, on I don't know either. Teams. <laughs> i really don't know but to be fair yeah the girls have they probably kept me busy um all year between the three teams and the, the time's just planning now so yeah, I think I'll, once the season's over, I'll probably be ready for a break and a couple more weeks before the child comes. In January or June, you say, yeah? 
January, I'm due. Yeah, mid middle of January. So not too yeah. far away. Well, busy it? up at Christmas. I'll be ha I'll be happy enough. Oh, what a start to the new year that's going to be. Oh no, it's going to be crazy. I only think I'm busy now. <laughs> and, and look, I asked um Orn earlier on how she managed to juggle things, and and Lauren as well, and it's it's quite big. How are you managing everything at the moment? Uh, yes, listen, like I said, it is busy, but you know, um, say uh, I'm, I'm helping Greg where possible, you know, and the seniors, and I'm not the only part of the one part of the management team, the under 16s and and the minors. So we we're sort of a group of us. So you know, if 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 you can't make a session, there's all those coaches there to help out and. And uh, you, you know, help, help the girls like so. It is busy, but it, it's good busy. Good, good, good. We wish you so well with with, with everything. Um, busy times, uh, Sinead, as you say, <laughs> yep. and, and and good luck to you and Robbie, and and I hope it all works out. We have three of them here, so it's 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 full on. <laughs> it's full on. So it's full. Well. <laughs> Orla, you made it home safe and sound anyway from Crow Park recently. Uh, did you enjoy the night and 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 the award ceremony? Yeah, it was very good. Um. It was a good night. We couldn't drink because we had that game on Sunday, so it was a bit, bit of a downer on it. But no, it was good anyway. Yeah. You might be able to, uh, you might be able to let loose a little bit after after this coming weekend, yeah. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> what are you expecting from Clan Aaron? Have you had much chance to look at them without giving too much away? Sinead is listening here intently as well. Obviously, look two two excellent sides and uh, looking forward to a cracking final, or I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. I don't think. The players from Clan Iron need much research done on them. Like they're all very good players. So um yeah, we're just trying to focus on ourselves and embracing all the challenges that come with it. But um yeah, no looking forward to it. Well, she's saying all the right things there, Sinead. I'm sure I'm sure <laughs> yeah, you yeah. keeping all her secrets for yourself. <laughs> I'm sure you won't be giving too much away yourselves. But look, Brina, and you know, very much here on merit, they've been knocking around the Ulster Championship for, for a few years now as well and formidable opposition. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, um, they're they're very good, very good team. We 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 know what they're capable of, and you know they're unlucky a few years ago, obviously getting beat in in replay by Donald Moyne. So, um, you know they've they've been there, done it before. You know, whereas we're we're new to this sort of level, so um, we're not taking them for granted. Yeah, we know what challenges we're going to face on Sunday, and um, listen, whoever they are, the winners are in the day. It's going to be a tough challenge. You seem to be very well prepared for for money glass. Sinead, bearing in mind who they had beaten not too long Fuck before yeah, like, that. I mean, we, we were confident going into the game. Um, We we had played Money Glass in a challenge last season and this season, so we kind of felt maybe we, we knew some of their, you know, their star players and maybe what way they were going to play and stuff. So we were we were confident going into it. We were, we were confident in our own abilities and we knew our game plan and, and yeah, and we stuck to the game plan. You know, there was a lot of hype, obviously, around Money Glass beating um, Don Moyne and we were happy to sort of come in under the radar. Um, and like Don Moyne, our money glass take all the plaudits for that and, and well deserved, obviously. But um, you know, like I said, we were confident going into it. And we just stuck to the game plan and we didn't panic or anything even when we went down to fourteen. So um, lucky enough, we got the result on the day. You're soaking it all up as well, Lauren. You're waiting for um for one for one of these in the in the All Ireland semi final, it's it's uh it's the way the draw has fallen. Um, is it nice to be able to to sit back and savor another monster success as, at the same time, Lauren? Because it it took so long for one to come around last year, and to go and win it again must be very satisfying. Yeah, definitely, Jackie. I think um, I think after the match on Sunday, I suppose our focus was definitely on celebrating the victory. Um, we haven't kind of sat down yet and kind of put our focus on the Ulster final yet. Oh, sorry, the semi final yet. Um, so that'll probably be train and Friday night's plan. So, yeah, no, I think it's really important to kind of celebrate the victories as well because, like you said, we we did wait a long time for it to come back around. Um, so yeah, no, like we were very very happy and um, yeah, look, we'll put our heads down and obviously keep an eye on the the Ulster final and see see what um see what our challenges ahead. I think it's been live streamed, isn't it, Sinead, on Sunday as far as as, as far as I'm aware yeah. match. Yeah. Yeah, and it is, yeah. Jerome and the team are going to be out and about. Busy bees yeah. as they are, yeah, absolutely. So we look forward to that. Um, Lauren, will you get a chance to look at it or is it a case that you've you've other things going on in your life and you might pop in and, and have a look at it during the week at some stage with with, with the entire squad or, or how does it work? Um, I think I suppose it's probably preference of each player if they want to tune in and watch it, and I'm sure Myself, I'd probably have uh, nice to have a look at it and just see kind of what's what's down the line. Um, and I'm sure our management will probably take a look at it as well and bring some key points to train in for the next two weeks. Um, so yeah, look, it's probably down to player player preference. You know, some players probably 
kind of want to keep a blind eye to it and then some players do want to tune into it so um yeah look I'm sure the management will bring the key parts and um I suppose again we do need to focus on ourselves as well and see what we can do to obviously combat the challenge that's coming ahead of us well, Lauren speaking of homework and, and, and getting your homework done it appears that you had it done <laughs> ahead of uh, of the banner game I was looking out obviously for some some key names on both sides and Nevo D had scored 3-6 against Moran Abbey I think she scored a point um, last weekend so if somebody had told you in advance of the game that Nevo D would score a point you'd probably say to yourself yeah I think we'll be in with a shout there was that how it, <laughs> how it panned out or how how did you how how was the game from a Bally Mac perspective was, was there spells where you were worried or did you feel we were we were in control of this one yeah, um, I think, I suppose, looking back to last year, we were probably disappointed in our performance, even though we did get the win last year as well. Um, we probably feel we didn't we didn't kind of play to our best last year. And I suppose we didn't want to make that same mistake again, because obviously the banner were on a great role. And like you said, Nivo D was playing top class as per usual. Um, but yeah, no, I think the week into the game, we kind of picked part, a few parts like that, the key parts, and obviously... Nevo D was one of them with three seven, which is which is amazing, I suppose. Um, and yeah, look, we we tasked a young girl, and she did a fantastic job on Nevo D, I think, and credit to her. Um, but look, we also kind of focused on ourselves, and we didn't get too caught up in what the banner kind of were bringing towards us, because I suppose the most important thing is how we play and how we wanted to kind of bring the game to them. Um, and I suppose no disrespect to the banner, but I kind of felt myself personally, we kind of did feel in control of the game. Um, there was never a kind of a moment of panic. Um, to be fair to the manager, they threw everything at us and they're, they're a fantastic setup. But I think um, we've, we played a very good game on Sunday um, and we're, we're happy with that. Of course, good. And you, you roll on to the Ireland series now and who yeah. knows what might lie in store from there. Um, Orla, the, the, the Breeder Club and its, and its rise and where you've come from and where you, you find yourselves now in recent times. Obviously, you've played and also find them more recent times as, as Sinead has alluded to and, and unfortunately on that occasion. Um, must be a huge sense of sense of motivation within the camp now to try and try and get your hands on this one. Yeah, definitely. Um, the game going to a replay two years ago was obviously really disappointing, and then, um, being knocked out of the competition so early last year, um, it was kind of a lot of drive then to do well this year, um, and try to get back into an Ulster final. So I think we're just happy that we've made it this far, and just excited to see what happens on Sunday. Then, is it the case that after you win a few county championships? Or that the Ulster becomes the real big one after that. Maybe there's a kind of a novelty factor when you win your first one or two county titles and you're happy maybe with that lot for the season. But then the more you win at, at local level, you want to go on and progress as far as you can then. Yeah, definitely. Like it's been something we've been looking to get to the last few years. Um the county championship we still have to put in a lot of work for. Um and every game can throw a different challenge. So we just have to make sure we're prepared for them and not focus too far ahead. But once we get through the Dawn Championship, it's definitely the focus then to just take every game as it comes. And from the Clonairn perspective, Sinead, I look, I suppose the it's it's documented that the our, our mad clubs haven't done particularly well once they get outside their own county. Are you anxious to to try and rectify that one? Yeah, d- definitely. Like I mean, um, you know, Clonairn probably is the most successful club in Armagh, and we probably have underachieved this this past number of years. Um. We've been a senior club from two thousand and six, and this is the first time that you know we've got to a senior final. So it's 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 been a long slog. And you know, like like Orla sort of said there, you know, you you're focused on your county championships first and foremost. But then you know sometimes we got dulcer and we 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 just we, we didn't have maybe the confidence going in. But I think we've learned a lot um over this past few years. Um, a lot of um you know young ones coming through who maybe don't have that fear some of the experienced players would have had in previous and we have a lot of experience as well with county girls and stuff now too mm-hmm. so you know they've obviously played at this level and you know they're showing the maturity and the younger girls and, and, and know how to step up this level so definitely it's something that we, we know we we haven't hit the heights we maybe should have previously but um this is why you know they don't come around that often so we we, we really want to take our opportunity when we are here a uh, nice blend of of youth and experience in in the the breeder setup as well, Orla. Yeah, definitely. Um, it kind of had the same group of girls for the last two or three years, so it's been good. Everyone's very close, and the younger ones definitely push on all the older ones to be fighting for positions. So it's been a good challenge as well, in amongst everyone. Oh, good, good, good. Just looking, I'm actually looking at the role of honour here for um, Ulster. Uh. 
Done a mine 22, done a mine 21, done a mine 20. Um, obviously, actually, there was no there was no uh, championship in 2020 due to COVID. They won it in 2019, they won it in 2018. St. Max from Tyrone won it in 2017. So you're back to 2014 in Terman, um, when it, when it, when a team other than Dunamine or um St. McCartan's in 2017 won this title. I have to go all the way back to Ergil Kieran in, in 2007 for someone different than Terman or Dunamine or or or, or Ergil Kieran themselves. Wow, it's 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 an incredible run that they were on. Um Sinead, wasn't it? So to, there's a real novelty factor, you know, feeling about this um this final on Sunday. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, like I mean, Don Moyne have set the standard for a long, long time, and um, I think even we played them in Ulster maybe three or four years in a row, and they knocked us out, and um, it was very frustrating. It was probably the last time Greg managed this. Was probably the, the closest we ever came um down Ulster final, and, and Don Moyne knocked us out on that stage too. But you know, you have to give them credit. We're credit to you. They're an unbelievable team, and they deserve every bit of success um they've got. But um, it, there's no easy teams when you come to Ulster. Um, you know, and the Tyrone teams, the Donegal teams, and the, and the Monaghan teams are uh, historically been the strongest, and, and rightly so. I'm looking. Um, I'm still going through this list. Uh, am I right in saying, um, Sinead, that? Oh, now correct me if I'm wrong on this. That. Eric Kieran from have won it. Canuck Breed have won it, Inishkeen have won it, Monaghan Harps have won it. That no team, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, that up from our Mayor down has won this competition. No, not not in the not the senior level. No, uh, they haven't won the competition. I think um, intermediate, yeah, level have, and, and we we sort of rose up. But no, um, our Mayor, like you said, they did two before they've underperformed in this competition for a long, long time. It's it's incredible, isn't it? Um, to think of to think of it like that order that. That there's real history on the line here for not only Breda but also potentially Clan Aaron on Sunday. What a what a prospect that is. Yeah, definitely. Um Clan Aaron have always been like a strong team. We played them in minor um in the Ulster competition and it was a real close game as well. Um so they've always kind of been on our radar as a good team. So it's quite surprising that they haven't done so well in Ulster. Yeah, and Lauren, just from the Ballymac perspective, obviously a storied club, a storied history. We've heard the stories and Heard the songs and the tales of old to, to to be part of a new generation creating this history and you know we, we we've heard all about the forty two in a row and the forty plus in a row and whatever it is it's it's an incredible achievement but to go and do it in Munster I think that makes things really deeply satisfying f- for you guys would I would I be right in that definitely Jackie um I suppose being a part of the group um as we kind of embark on a bit of a new journey it's fantastic um because you kind of have a mix of the, the the old and the young I suppose we've still have two players on the team who were on the last time we won the Munster final um so it's great to have that kind of bit of um their kind of view on things because they would have known what it felt like to win one years ago and then to obviously go through that period of time where we weren't kind of successful in Munster and we were kind of knocking on the door for a long time so um to also kind of see those girls eventually get over the line again was fantastic um but yeah no look we're looking we're looking forward to the challenge and um uh it, it's great to play football at this time of year with your club so yeah no we're it's it's all again from here so we're looking forward to it good stuff so it'll be Bally McCarbery against either Breda or Clan Aaron in the current account that I all Ireland club semi find the other side of the draw is Clan Clonburn against Kilmical Crow so two crackers to look forward to but first and foremost on Sunday it's uh, Clan Aaron from Armagh, Sinead Geary and Co. against Orla Duffy's Breda from down in the Ulster Senior Final. We also have Ulster Junior and Intermediate um, Finals at the weekend, so we look forward to those as well. Lauren, as I say, Fitzpatrick from uh, Ballymac can sit back and relax for the weekend if she's not too busy catching up on some work stuff and, and watch how it all pans out. Folks, really, really appreciate your time as always and thanks for coming on today. Um, all the best for the weekend and thanks so much. Great. Thanks, Jackie. Bye.